My name is Amata and in this Red Gaming Tech video we are here to discuss all the news from the PlayStation Conference which took place at the Tokyo Game Show 2017. Now of course there's been a lot of speculation about what's going to be revealed here. There was talk of even maybe them revealing the inevitable PlayStation 4 Pro price cut. But sadly nothing like that but we did get a lot of game announcements so I'm just going to crack on with what I would say the best bits are. We had quite a few new trailers and stuff like that, but I'm going to stick to the actual reveals, news, that sort of thing. So the first item on our list is actually a new game from Square Enix called Left Alive, which has quite the talented ensemble of developers working on it, including the Armored Core director Toshifumi Nabashima, and even has character designers, designs rather, done by the character designer Yoji Shinkawa, who did the character designs for Metal Gear. And in case you're wondering, the trailer we got for this, which you should be seeing on screen, assuming it doesn't copyright claim me, which is very possible, doesn't really tell us anything at all, you know, honestly. It's obviously just like a teaser of a game that is not even been giving a release date to what we got with 2018, but... Square Enix helped us out a little bit and described it as a quote, a brand new survival action shooter in a dark and gritty world. Now, do they actually mean like survival survival or is that just like a not quite survival? It'd be interesting to see like a AAA pure survival experience, but obviously if it's an action game then it won't really be a pure survival experience, maybe survival elements. I don't know, we'll have to see. You know, obviously... An actual gameplay trailer would be nice because this trailer told us precisely nothing. Next thing, however, is Monster Hunter World finally getting release date. Now, of course, this was one of the pretty big reveals that we had at E3 this year. The fact that, of course, a Monster Hunter game is coming out in the West on something that isn't the 3DS or the DS is pretty huge news in itself. And, of course, it's also coming out on the PC, but obviously the PS4 as well. But... Capcom took the chance of the PlayStation conference to tell us that the game is going to be coming out worldwide on January 26th, 2018. So, not a bad way to start the year. Now, as this is a AAA game, we of course had the seemingly obligatory multiple special editions, pre-order bonuses, and of course the PS4 Pro console getting a Monster Hunter themed variation. And obviously the Digital Deluxe Edition, which exists because of course has a bonus armor set, emote, emblems and hairstyle. And there's also going to be a fig physical collector's edition, which has a copy of the game, obviously, soundtrack, CD, figure and art book. And you're going to be getting some nice armor and a wind charm, charm item if you actually pre-order the game, which begins tomorrow actually on the 20th of September. Now the next item on our list is actually pretty cool. And it's Final Fantasy IX coming out for the piece, uh, sorry, the PS4. And this game is actually already available on the PS4 if you perhaps want to relove some uh, pretty damn nice memories. I will say Final Fantasy IX is actually my personal favourite Final Fantasy game. And a lot of people say X. You know, X's good, but uh, IX is my personal favourite. Now, of course, there's been a slight enhancement to the graphics, but, you know, short of a full remake, that's probably the most you can do. Obviously, it has trophy support and obviously auto saves. And it's going to have a bunch of cool uh, features similar to how Final Fantasy 7 had. You can turn off random encounters and there's uh, several booster features including high speed mode and one that lets you automatically master the weapons and gear you have equipped. So if you just want to have the story, you can have just the story. And if you want to have all the grinding and everything with that, then cool, you can have that. You can just leave all that stuff turned off and obviously leave random encounters turned on. It's nice to see my personal favourite Final Fantasy game, getting some love. Definitely uh, well deserved, of course, it came out on the PC last year, so it's nice to see and getting the PS4 treatment as well. Next up is one that's definitely going to bring a smile to a lot of faces, and that the Zone of the Enders series will actually be making a bit of a return, as Zone of the Enders, the second runner, will be remastered for the PS4. But it doesn't just stop there, it's also going to have full VR support, and is also going to have support for 4K, and some brand new features which have yet to be detailed. Now, of course, we had a HD re-release of this game already on the PS3 back in 2012. But uh, obviously this is pretty big that not only is it going to be remastered, it's going to have VR supports and a bunch of other stuff as well. And of course, you know, this is a series that has flown under the radar for a lot of people and hasn't gotten the love that it feels a lot of people feel it deserves. 
So maybe this is another crack at it, and if it does well enough, hey, maybe we'll get a new one, and even if we don't, it's still nice to see Zone of the Enders back again. Now next up, we have a little bit of a confirmation of a leak. You may have seen the rumblings earlier this month that we were going to be getting a re-release of the game Dragon's Crown. And well, that is actually true. We got official reveal of Dragon's Crown Pro, which is obviously an enhanced version of the old RPG, which came out seemingly ages ago back in 2013 i know it wasn't actually that long ago but it feels like it was ages ago and uh, it's going to have 4k support as well as of course being as already said enhanced and it's going to be coming out in japan on january 25th um no word on when it's going to be coming out in the west yet unfortunately hopefully not too long after the japanese release but at the moment all we do know is that it's coming out in japan again on the 25th of January. So that is pretty much all of the big news from the TGS conference from Sony. I was hoping for like, you know, maybe again the reveal of the PS4 Pro price cut, which, you know, I suppose it could technically not happen, but I'd be shocked if it doesn't because they're going to do that to try and, you know, undercut Microsoft with the Scorpio. They're obviously are very aware that that is going to be an issue for them. So that's going to happen. I will be very, very surprised if it doesn't. Um, I was hoping for maybe the God of War release date or release, release release window. So far at the moment, of course, all we know is early 2018, which doesn't really mean anything. Probably means January, February, March, but, you know, a more specific date would be most lovely. So, yeah, the biggest news really is obviously the Monster Hunter World trailer and release date, of course, and the reveal of Left Alive, which I'm definitely intrigued by. You know, I want to I wanna know more about it basically because you know it showed just enough to be like oh okay all right this could be interesting potentially and then that's it that's all we got so uh yeah that's been done for this video thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you next time